Welcome to a tutorial video on learning RenPy. This video covers the RenPy Launcher. The RenPy Launcher is a gateway to all things RenPy. Projects can be selected from the left hand side and different actions can be taken from the right hand side. When a project is selected, its directories and files can be opened directly from the launcher. Open directories, edit files. Each directory, game, base, images, and GUI correspond to different organizational elements in RenPy. New projects can also be created by clicking on the Create New Project. The Game folder contains the images and GUI folders and the various files that control the script and settings. The Base directory contains meta information about the project as well as the game folder and everything within it. Images and GUI directories, as their name implies, contain the images, everything that's not a GUI, that is a graphic user interface element, and the GUI directory contains all of the graphic user interface elements. All of the images that have to do with the graphical interface that are not images that are based on characters or other things that are shown in the game. On the right hand side is the ability to edit some files directly. Script, Options, GUI, and Screens. Each one corresponds to a different particular thing in RenPy. The script file contains all the dialogue, characters, and some additional programming, if added. Options contain all of the settings and the programming that defines those settings. GUI contains all of the settings that have to do with the graphical user interfaces. And screens contain all of the code, settings, and everything else. That defines the screens within RenPy, things like the main menu, preferences, and other screens. You can also open all of the script files at once. The actions down here in the lower right hand corner give us the ability to do different things. The first of which is to navigate the script. When we navigate the script, we can look at all of the different labels, variables, and other things that are defined within a project. We can check the script to see if the code is okay. We can change or update the GUI if we've changed files or changed colors or changed different options. We want RenPy to remember those. We also delete persistent data that's kept between different sessions of testing things and launching projects. We can also force a recompile. If we think there might be a program with a code or if we've changed some code, we can force a recompile. We can also build different distributions. This allows us to build things for PC, Mac, and Linux directly from here, as well as for Android and iOS. For the Android and iOS distributions especially, it requires downloading additional tools and configuring them, which the RenPy Launcher can help with, but are not covered in this tutorial video. Finally, there's Generate Translations and Extract Dialog. Generate Translations will attempt to build different translations of the project based on the existing code within it and any translation files that are included. Additional instructions are included when clicking that option. Extract Dialog, as its name implies, pulls out all of the text from a project that could be used to do different translations and generate different things that can then be imported back into the project or changed and used to generate translations. Finally, and sort of most importantly, there's a big old launch project option. This allows us to launch whatever project is selected over here on the left hand side and to view that project in a different new window. At the bottom here are different options. Documentation, RenPy website, and RenPy games list were all open new pages and an external web browser. About clicked will show the about information for the RenPy launcher as well as its current current version of RenPy. Sponsor information just like documentation, RenPy website, and RenPy games list will be open in an external browser. You can also check to see if this is the current most current version of RenPy using update, change any preferences about the launcher itself, and finally quit close the launcher itself. This has been a review of the different options that are available within the RenPy launcher, most of which aren't used that much. Usually when you select a project, you launch a project, edit an individual file, or open a direct directory directly. Additional options, of course, are available down here in Actions, Delete Persistent, Force Recompile, Build New Distributions, usually later in the project after testing or initial development is done. Thanks for watching.